Hey guys, this is Red Silvers, and welcome back to Let's Play the Guardian Legend. This is the screen where we fought the crab mini boss before, and I mentioned that we were going to save this room for this video. And this is where they will show you this, the trick to opening corridor number two, which is to touch everywhere. So if you remember when you were a kid and your parents told you not to touch things, well, it turns out they were wrong all along. And that was terrible, and I apologize for that. But luckily, aside from a boss fight, this is going to be a fairly simple video. That's always kind of nice, because... It's a lot easier to redo things in a simple video than in a really complicated one. And it's a minor thing, but if you come in on that side of the red wall, you cover less ground overall. And here's where our corridor entrance is. Let's not get bounced on by the red bouncy ball. So the trick was to touch everywhere, and what that means is these four blocks here, you just step on them, and they will break. So not the most efficient lock in the world. And with that, we're on to Corridor 2, the second mandatory corridor. Right from the start here, you see that the fish are much quicker than they've been. Beyond that, though, the level itself is fairly simple. A lot of the other enemies you get are exactly the same as they were in previous corridors. And these green things here, you can just prepare, get in position for as soon as they come in the screen, start firing, and they will get hit right away. In fact, with the power power that we've gotten from exploring Area 2, we don't even really need to worry about any sub-weapons. We're just gonna let our gun do the work for us, because we've got that extra firepower. And you can see this is where knowing how the fish behave really pays off, and that's why I pointed out so much. They do throw quite a bit of enemies at you, but it's not really anything that's too terrible to handle if you've got your gun upgrade. I think the worst of it comes up near the end where you get kind of a major barrage. But overall, it's a very fair stage. This is probably the worst of it right here. And you get lots of opportunity for pickups, so... Other than the fish throwing you off, and there's not really any surprises. In fact, we are in great shape, considering we're coming up to the boss fight fairly soon here. Right after this little barrage. Boss Siren's gonna come in. The boss of Corridor 2 is a crawfish, and his name is Crawdaddy. Who's your daddy? And he's really... Like a slightly faster version of Fleba, he's really not too difficult. You can get health pickups off of his claws here, so you kind of want to hug near him. And as you see, he doesn't actually ram into you if you're on the very bottom of the screen. So really just kind of position yourself under him and fire, and he is easily handled. For that, we will get the second key. Which will now unlock Area 3. We'll get crazy explosion times. And then get an upgrade to the Saber. Putting that to level 2. You can see here that level 2 weapons have a green background on this screen. Though they don't when you actually have them selected, so you kind of have to be aware of that. And 
And so that's the quarter or two down. We're going to go ahead and head straight to Area 3 right away. And I'll show you on the map there. You've got two corridors down there in the lower corner below us. So you kind of will pick up the pattern here that Area 0 is kind of our hub area. And all these other areas are going to be offshoots off of there. But that's okay. Not really handling the the health too well for this exit, but that's okay. I tend to say that's okay quite a bit. It's probably something I indirectly picked up from H. C. Bailey because I've said many times that H. C. Bailey is an inspiration to me for doing my let's plays, along with people like Brick Road. In fact, I've noticed, here's how influential Brick Road has been to Let's Plays. Uh, he has this tendency, he'll, he'll sum up his videos and he'll say three things that happen in the video, like, wherein Brick does this, that, and the other. And I've noticed just from watching people's Let's Plays that Narashim has picked up on that and does that. Uh, McLean's been doing that in his Zelda classic let's play and of course I've been doing it so there's a kind of a minor little way that we get some in some influence there so there you go so say goodbye to area 2 because we will probably never come here again and we're not gonna save it this lander we're going to actually come back out here to the center area. Now, eventually, enemies in the center area are going to change, but I don't think that that happens until m a little bit further in the game. And as for the area 3, the entrance is right here. So, we'll go ahead and save here, and we'll head into Area 3 in earnest next time. So, here's our password. And we are set for another day. So, until next time, this is Red Silvers. Have yourself a good night.